All right, now in previous NPAPI of these NPAPI walkthrough tutorials, uh, you've seen how plugins are created, you've seen how we expose JSAPI objects to the browser, um, but there's also cases where we want to be able to talk to the browser, we want to be able to access the DOM. Now ideally, that should all be through the same interface that we pass to the browser. So where we have the MP JavaScript object that wraps a JSAPI object, also have the NP object API, which extends JS object, which extends in turn JS API. So we're going to create a JS API object that wraps a NP object. Uh, and yes, this could, if you're not careful, produce some really interesting recursion. But there's some, some really neat things you can do with this. Uh, so basically, when we create the NP object API, we're going to give it an NP object and the NP API browser host pointer. And then we implement all of the JS API things like has method, has property, uh, get property, set property. And you'll notice that these are using variants. So JS API was constructed with NP, NP objects in mind. Uh, that seemed a fairly simple uh, interface and so it's, it's pretty straightforward converting it. But we use vectors and we use strings instead of NP identifiers, and we use variants instead of NP variants. And then basically as we go through, we're going to implement these JS API, uh, JS API interfaces and methods, and then we're going to call whatever is, is needed on the NP object in order to provide that information. Now this is really powerful because there are actually cases where you may want to interface between different types of browsers. Or, for example, if you embedded a JavaScript engine, uh, because everything uses the JS API, uh, you can actually wrap, uh, I've actually done a test with an embedded uh, IE ActiveX control, and I was actually able to pass objects from the NP API browser into the IE uh, browser because it would convert it, it, it pulled it in as an NP object API, and then it wrapped that into a com JavaScript object, which we'll talk about when and if I get the, the ActiveX side of this done, um, which is the Java, which, which is the, the wrapper for uh, JavaScript objects from IE. And so it's able to pass it all the way through into a, even a different type of browser because of this abstraction. Um, however, this is also a really good example of how to access NP variants. Um, the one thing in here that's a little bit non-standard that might be useful to know is when we fire events, what we're actually doing is we have saved JavaScript objects. Because in, in JavaScript, everything is an object. You have function objects, you have uh, objects with, with key values, so you have callable objects, you have objects that aren't callable but just have data in them. You have arrays, which happen to also be objects. You have, you know, it's like if it's not a primitive, then it's an object. And so we can't actually tell if it's callable or not. But when they call add event listener, we assume that it's callable. We store that, and we're then going to call invoke default on it, which is the NP API way of saying this is a callable function object, call it. And so when we fire an event, uh, there's the potential, if we're just using these NP object APIs and calling invoke on each one, it's going to convert all of those parameters like you know once for every ha event handler that you have. So we have this call multiple functions, which is going to give us an array, a, a vector of JS object pointers uh, for the different ways that we could call that. We do the conversion once uh, with the, to create those arguments, and then we call all of the all of the handlers that we have um, with the same converted thing. So it's just a it's just an efficiency thing. Uh, and I'll leave it as an exercise to you to go through all of that because to go through every line of code in FireBreath would just take far too long. Um, there might be another entry in this series. I'm trying to decide if there's anything significant that I've missed. But uh, for now, I hope that's been helpful to you. We will probably finish up the NPAPI series here. Good luck.